Uh, this is the tutorial for the trapping problem number 9, page is 397. Uh, in this case, main focus will be the having the center line and radial direction with the reference. And since it is a uh, very small part, I'm going to make it two times the scale in the B size template. So part already been created. As you can see, the uh, template B size already made it. As you can see, also scale being made as a 2-1. That means whatever the projection you're making in or put into the frame here is going to be two times bigger. So you can go to right properties by changing the scale here. The default, the size you're putting as the frame, it will be automatically two one. Of course, individual you can change it later also too. So I'm gonna go to insert view projection from view, then go pick up the plane you like to use front click and change fit then I'm gonna bring to a little bit left then I'm gonna have uh, uh, the projection in the right side of the view in this case I like to have a uh, uh, hidden view hidden lines for the this holes and axis also too so I'm gonna turn on the hidden line. So right click on all of the frame properties and you can see you can turn on the hidden line and center line manually as well too. So of course exits in this case and we we'll say OK and you can see the, the, uh, the hidden lines for this whole show up. There is uh, some drawing uh, recommendations Usually, if it is overlapped, the one they recommended not to express in the side of you. So I'm gonna uh, delete these lines. So manually, just pick up the each lines, and then you can just delete it one by one. So I'm gonna finish out all of them, and I'll come back. Okay, so I get rid of additional holes, which will confuse you. So it looks good to me now. All right, so I like to have uh, the center line in a radial way for the, this one. So to utilize those, I'm going to use this thread with the reference. So <clears throat> pick up all those circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Then go to the, uh, the center line option. And the fourth one, the thread with the reference, this is what we are looking for, click, and it's waiting for you to pick up the reference, which in this case, the circular shape we already have, click, and now you can see it, the thread, the center line for the hole is made as a radial directions, and also thread symbol being added into the hole as well too. Let me erase those title for each frame so obvious what it is so I'm gonna add uh, the dimensions 1.4 is a diameter for the display so dimension dimension diameter dimensions clicks like this and change it to the second options and it's going to be dimensions I'm looking for the third decimal point and also I'm looking for the tolerance so I'm going to utilize NC number two format then also you can go to properties and changing the tolerance manually so in this case I'm looking for zero as upper tolerance and for the lower tolerance I'm going to have minus 0.005 and you can see the tolerance being added then I need to add the datums and, and uh, some feature frames as well too first let me get the diameter 1 which is the di pattern diameter so diameter then if you zoom it in you can look at that those the center line being actually made as part of a curve so you can pick up then right away you should be able to get 
the dimensions for the patterns. So again, change it to the second options uh, for inches. Looking for three digits, and in this case, we are looking as uh, basic dimensions. All right. Then also I have a hole, three little hole, 0.1 to 5 with 40 UNC 2B. So instead of this diameter symbol, diameter dimensions, I'm going to use a text with the lead line. You can use this one. Then you can pick up one of a hole. Then you can put where you want put your text there. So in this case, eight places, 0.1 to 5, 40 U and C uh, thread to B. Okay. Put it okay there where you want. Then I'm going to add the feature control frame over this dimension. So change it to feature control frame, pick up. And you can add the positional tolerance, diameter 0 0.002, maximum material condition, projected uh, position with 0.375 inches tolerance based on the datum A, B, and maximum material condition. Okay, then we got it. Then I need to add the uh, datums. So let me start with the uh, this dimension point three seven five. Then I'm gonna add the datum A first and datum B later on. So distance between those two. There we go. It's going to be inches and three decimal point. There we go. Then I can add the datum. Case going to be A. Alright, I'm relocated right there. And another dimension at the datum will be the center axis of this plate will be our datum B. So you should not pick up the surface actually, you should pick up the, the dimension line so that actually is indicating the axis, not the surface of a plate. So if you pick up, then it will be automatically attached there. So it's B. You can relocate it if you want. So we have uh, a dimension 1.4 plus minus 0 0.00 minus 0 0.005. And we have a hole. We have a 1 inch as a pattern diameter. And we have, oh. I forgot the angle, so I'm going to add angle between two center lines. We already have it. One, two, here we go, 45 degree. I need to add the eight places. So properties go to the dimension text and in front of a main value, eight places. Okay. So it is going to be basic dimensions. And I believe we have all dimensions and feature control, cone frame, and datums. So it looks good. So that concludes this drafting problem number nine.